is our anniversary today. It's not snow. I got this at the thrift store for $2. Where I fell in love with home decor, I guess you could say. So why is this miter so, so much better than mine? Holy cow, you guys, I did it. Hippos love our belly bees. They're round and cute and funny. We are going to weather the cold today. It's 27 or 24 degrees and it is icy, 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 icy. It's like a mix. It's not like real, it doesn't look like real snow. It looks like ice snow. Look, look at all the snow, ice, snow, something. I'm wearing a beanie even though it looks a little more casual than my shirt does, but I'm gonna have a jacket on um, because it's our anniversary today. 13 years. We were babies. Yeah, we were, we were, we were little. We were little. No, we weren't babies. We were in college. So we are going to eat at Warner's because that was our plan on our anniversary is to eat. And our anniversary is usually right around the, uh, no, not usually. It is always around the Valentine's Day time. And I do not like, I hate going out to a restaurant or something. Valentine's Day just in general isn't really my thing. Um, so I definitely don't like to eat set menu at restaurants and stuff. So we always choose to go out to eat for our anniversary, which it's only because it's only about a week apart. And then we just do something at home for Valentine's Day. Uh, so we're going to go eat at Warner's. Look at this little baby girl. Hi. Hey. Are you a princess? You look like a princess. Well, Romeo and I immediately went back inside because this is, this is ice. This isn't really like snow. Look, like I can slide on this. So we're never gonna be able to get down this hill. Look at this. It's not snow. That's a no-go on for us going anywhere. So much for our special lunch at Warner's anniversary. We were so excited, but it's not gonna happen. Well, we're still hungry. Huh? You were ice skating? Did you go out here? It's not snow. It's deceiving. It looks like snow. Look at this. It's... <laughs> it doesn't move. No, your car definitely moves. No, we wouldn't make Dude. it. Like, no way. <laughs> it's like an ice skating rink. But well, we can't even make it to the house. <laughs> no, we can't work. We can't do anything. <sighs> Anyways, now I'm really we're hungry. hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. <laughs> it's a good thing that we do have HelloFresh. So, a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I guess we're gonna make HelloFresh now. We have two options, I think. We have chicken. Chicken and chicken. We have crispy Parmesan chicken and Bravo balsamic chicken. I begged him to take our, our anniversary picture. They're so cute. At least the lighting is super good. And then my camera fell. And then there's that. Uh, baby, which one of these do you want? Hey, we are making crispy Parmesan chicken with garlic scallion couscous and lemony roasted carrots. And you guys know I love HelloFresh. All of the ingredients come in here together. Saves so much on food waste. Saves you so much time. Just all good things. And I love having them in the fridge, like today, when we can't go anywhere, but we can still have a good meal. HelloFresh has so many delicious meals for you to choose from every week, and they even have calorie and carb smart recipes so you can indulge in amazing meals without the worries. So I get the calorie smart. They also have family friendly recipes, pescatarian and veggie options for you to choose from, and they have more five star reviews than any other meal kit. So you know you're gonna get something delicious every time HelloFresh shows up at your doorstep. It's also super easy to increase the number of servings that you get per box so you can have leftovers for lunches, which I like to do a lot. Or if you need to feed more people, obviously you can up it to four meals per box. If you don't love grocery shopping, like I don't love grocery shopping, then you're gonna love having these meals in your fridge because it's less prep, it's time saved, and it cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% when compared to grocery store shopping. Mm -hmm. Well, so changing plans, but not bad, huh? Mm, I tried some of the crust, the topping for the chicken when it was in the pan. Mm. So if you guys wanna try out HelloFresh and have 
really good meals in your fridge whenever you need them. You don't know what's gonna happen. You guys can go to hellofresh.com and use code McKenna16 at checkout to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So we're gonna eat and then we don't know. Our whole kind of day has changed course and plans. And I wanted to work at the house later and I know it's our anniversary, but I did just for a little bit. We were gonna go to Fredericksburg and go to Warner's and then go thrift shopping and just have a fun day and then we got iced in. We had no idea. It looks like snow and it's not. It's ice. We don't know where the wood day is gonna take us. We're definitely gonna eat and have coffee, watch a movie together maybe, play with Kinsley. Romeo is packing his bag to leave me. I just always say that to make him feel bad. It's just for a week. Yeah, he just needs to do some business things. It's okay. And then he'll be back next week. And then my mom and I are driving to see baby Robbie tomorrow. We're gonna see him for a few days. I feel like he's growing so fast. It's like a month and then he's gotten. I have to pick up more tile on the way back because I, ordered the tile for behind the clawfoot tub in the primary bathroom and I ordered the wrong color. How the color names were written on the board was super confusing. I messed it up. Two other people had messed it up. Not the person that I ordered it from, but the order, the person that I was like sampling the board from said the color. Then when I ordered it, we said that like it was just so deceiving so I didn't bother to double check because in my head we had always called it Florentine Gates but Florentine Gates is actually like solid black and the ones I wanted the one I wanted was like Venetian something I don't know it was so there was no descriptive word to say that it was black Florentine Gates could have totally been the color I wanted Anyways, it was a mess up. They ended up fixing it. They ordered the right one. So it's ready to be picked up in Houston. So on the way back from seeing baby Robbie, we're gonna go there, which is right next door to that big antique store. But I'm going to refrain from going in because I feel like we've been shopping overload recently. There's just been really amazing estate sales. There's been really good things at thrift stores. You gotta take those opportunities though. You guys, look how cute my little sweater is. I got this at the thrift store for $2. And you know what it reminds me of? I have a favorite brand that I've never bought anything from. I don't know if you can have a favorite brand that you've never bought anything from, but I do. French brand, I'll put it on the screen, but this looks exactly like something that you would buy from there. And look how cute it is. It is cold here. So you're just checking, right? is dead. We are road tripping. Me and mama. <laughs> We're like actually over halfway to see baby Robbie. Mom's very excited. Are you excited? Excited. Express your excitement in one wordle. <laughs> <laughs> I got the pedal. There's nail. Pedal! Hey, but first of all, we are killing it at Wordle, but we cannot spell. It says something about this game. Mom got sad when there's only one Wordle a day. I know. What are we going to do with the rest of the trip? We I know. I said we, we have to play um, the license plate game, but there's no cars around us either. I know. We wouldn't win that either. Of course you do. <laughs> Take off. You order up there. Ask them if they still have the toasted white chocolate mocha. Do you still have the toasted white chocolate mocha? White chocolate mocha? Yeah. With oat milk. With grande. Can I have a grande with oat milk? That? Oh oat no. milk. All right. Yes. Thank you. For 22 miles, continue straight. Hippos love our belly bees. They're round and cute and funny. 
and there's a place we take them to when summer days are sunny. Come on. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We've been playing with baby Robbie. It's kind of like kind of the afternoon, actually. Uh, we've been playing with baby Robbie. He's getting so big. My mom is rocking him to sleep right now. And we are on an adventure. We're on an adventure and we're gonna be doing some projects for my sister. I always text her, I'm like, make me a list of all the things around the house that you need done because I'm quite handy and mom's gonna preoccupy Robbie the whole time so I can like help you and do stuff around the house. Like, you know, just to keep myself busy and help her and you got a baby, I can't even imagine. So I'm, I'm good at this stuff. So we are running some packages to the post office for her and then we're going to run by the hardware store and pick up some wood because I'm, I, I'll show you the door that I'm kind of recreating. We, we needed to pull out a door that needs to be installed in the house and it got water damaged. And it's a pretty simple design so I think I can use the trim and the molding and recreate it. And so I just need two pieces of lumber. We're on an adventure. That's what we're gonna do. Did I need to go somewhere else? I don't think I needed to go anywhere else. Also from Lowe's, I need to get another smoke detector. But, and I installed those already, so. Made it to our first stop, which is wild that it's in the same strip mall as my mom's old, or well, our family's old boutique. My brother closed it like, must have been like six years ago now. He, he took it over from my mom when I went off to college, but we'll go peek in the window. They never rented it after that. So it might look like the walls may look the same inside. So I'll show you. We opened the store in 2000. So I was like 11 when we opened it and then I worked there all through high school and decorating and stuff. So okay, let me take these packages and I'll show you. So this used to be the store, still for lease. Isn't that wild? Oh my gosh, it is the same. It looks exactly the same. Look at the brick wall. I don't think we did it, I think we had someone do it. But look at all the different colored walls because we had all different colored things. My mom and I DIY'd that floor. It's all worn down and stuff, but we painted it, the concrete. On the back wall, there's a poem. We hand did that on the poem. Gosh, I don't even remember what it says now. We had this side too. Look at that. Oh my God, those colors. And that was a back room back there. Crazy. That is wild worked there until I went off to LA to college where I fell in love with home decor I guess you could say okay now we're gonna go to the hardware store okay so we need some rather large boards and I'm limited on tools <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with these project boards to make the two panels of the bifold doors the only problem is they're not as thick they're only three quarters of an inch obviously because the way they make wood now not an inch. So I feel like it'll work for the baby, for the baby's room and its purpose, but it's not ideal. I could always layer it with some plywood, but why do they do this? Can someone tell me why, why they started making it smaller? You know, I literally don't know what my life would be like without a monthly trip to the hardware store where I have wood as a passenger or lumber as a passenger. <laughs> I've done this more times than I can count. So I must do a lot of woodworking projects. Okay, let's go make some doors. I hope this works. Gosh, how do you make something thicker? Those doors are hollow, so it makes sense that they're like an even inch because they just built a frame and then cladded it on both sides with plywood. These would be solid wood, but they would be quarter of an inch thinner. That makes me so frustrated. Okay, so this is this is the door that we're recreating and you see all the damage I kind of picked at it too, but it was really water damaged on the bottom and the top But obviously all the hardware is good and my idea is to make two new sides to these bifold doors because it's two parts pop up all the trim on this to put it on the new boards and use all the hardware like I feel like it's relatively simple our 
only and I have wood glue I don't have pen nails but I'm hoping when I pop these off they actually have the nails kind of still in them um the trim so because I don't have my nail gun or anything like that but I think I can make do but I did get wood glue and some painters tape to kind of hold it in place while it dries so let's see if we can do this shall we I'm gonna try and attempt to get the trim off now I got this little little bitty crowbar like I don't even know if it is a crowbar because it's so little. Because my dad has one that's like really good. So I'm thinking I can get underneath the edge kind of gently. Oh, yeah, the nails are still in there. Now we need to cut the new boards. 78 and three quarters. No, 70, 78 and five eighths. 78 and five eighths. We gotta cut some wood. Okay, so why is this miter saw so much better than mine? This one has a laser on it. I need this. I need to upgrade. We got it cut. I actually did have to shave some of the side off. It wasn't exactly 16 and I was worried it wasn't going to fit. So I cut them down to 15 and three quarters. Um, so that was exactly what the old doors were. Now I'm going to take some light sandpaper and just kind of smooth out the edges, making it nice and, and nice and nice. <laughs> the next day and I'm totally in the same clothes but this is a no judgment zone <laughs> I got it got dark I finished some things and then knocked out I was so tired but this is the state of our door I got it actually like almost there I transferred all the hardware from the other door to the new door and then put the molding on with the glue and taped it down so that it would stick really well and then put weights on top. I just found some random things around and put weights on top of it so it was stuck. So we can take the tape off now because it's been drying overnight. Look at that. Because I didn't want to paint, I needed to paint the door, but we won't have enough time this trip. So I can hang it like this, like raw wood, and then paint it next time I come because I really wanted this glue to stick really well just so it's nice oh yeah it's really stuck down really well that's making me very happy oh by the way the door's upside down <laughs> this is the right way look at that and then when it folds out the molding matches up isn't that nice I mean I did it I just need to put the little I drilled the hole for the pull in the exact same spot that it was in on the other door. So I just need to put that in really quick. I think the pretty side was on this side. Ta-da! So now I can figure out how to install that door. Holy cow, you guys, I did it. Look.
That's amazing. Okay, so definitely I think I put this one on the wrong door. I need to move it over here because I feel like, or maybe that, no, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't go on the other side. Oh yeah, I guess mom's right. You could have it on both sides. So when I paint it, I'll either add one or I don't know if I can find the same thing. So I'll just move it over because I feel like that's the best. I mean, it does function, but I feel like it's better over there. And then I'll caulk all the trim and do all those things, you know what I mean? But, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Privacy for the bait. And then this side is just, is just solid. And it's on a track system. Wow. So we're actually leaving today to go back. Oh, <laughs> I think we're hanging sheet rock tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. So that's gonna happen. Um, and on the way out, we're gonna be picking up tile, probably stopping by a few estate sales or thrift shops along the way. So you'll see that in the next vlog for sure. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed with, this was a mini day kind of vlog from our anniversary to the ice storm. Weather's much better. I am getting back to work tomorrow. <sighs> house to dry in, I'm so excited. Oh. This house gives me life. Every time I get away from the house for just a few days, um, I get re reinvigorated or re my, I get rejuvenated to get started again. Sometimes when I'm down there working for days on end, it gets overwhelming, but um, back to it. I'm very excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you're not already subscribed for two videos here on this channel every week. And of course my renovation videos over on my other channel every Sunday. I'm excited to see Kinsley get back to her. Don't forget to check out HelloFresh and go to HelloFresh.com and use code McKenna16 for 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. I love having them at the house. You guys know I have them every week without fail. So I will see you guys again on Tuesday for another vlog and Sunday over on the other channel. Bye guys. Did we actually find them? I don't know. What do you think? I love them. This is what you would see.